Yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. What you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know. Why are you asking me? <laughs> yo, I don't know. <laughs> See this? See this should be on. This should be on tape. <laughs> yeah, this is a good part. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. All right. What it is? All right. What it is, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> What's up? What's up, B? Oh, man. Yeah, right on. How are you? Oh, man, I can't complain, man. Yeah, you can't complain. We won last night. So here, here we are. We got our, this is our third segment, man, of artists who love the Knicks. Artists who love the Knicks. Yeah, we have um, we have a few folks watching. I mean, we haven't gone viral, but we didn't expect that. Yeah. But we have some folks who who chimed in. I wanted to thank those people who chimed in. Nice. Uh, and given their feedback, and uh, I think now uh, you and I touched on this. It, it kind of warrants. Uh, saying, hey, if you like the show, please leave comments. Mm -hmm. uh, please don't beat us up. We're all trying to be lighthearted here. <laughs> you know? Yes, sir. But uh, please let us know what, you know, any suggestions that you may have or, you know, whether you like the show or not, you know, those kind of things. Hit the, the thumbs up button. And uh, I guess you can subscribe as well. You can yeah. Subscribe to it as well, right? Right. Yep. So, and you know, let's, please let's share. Yeah. And please share. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so thanks for for tuning in to for those who who've done it, and of course for those who've returned. We really appreciate it because this is just fun. I don't know. B, you having fun? Man, I'm having fun, man. I like those glasses, by the way, man. Where you get this from? Oh man, Warby Parker, man. Oh, Warby, I know him. Yeah, Warby, man. Yeah, yeah, I know you know. Yeah, he, he lived down the street, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny during COVID. Yeah, my my niece. My niece was telling me she she was wearing them. Uh, Tracy said, "Yeah, yeah, they're nice." Because I was looking for some something new, and she said, "Try it." And I tried it, and yeah, it kind of worked out. So looking good, it. bro. Yeah, yeah I'm oh. trying to keep up with you. Look what you oh. wear, man. What you sport today? What kind of hat you got, man? This is man, see, it's know. artists. It's artists who love it, the Knicks, man. You know, artists who love the Knicks, man. Keep it yeah. creative, brother. Yeah, you sorry, this is the same, man. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I see you with your plants back there. I'm gonna get me a set soon. Now, look out, folks. I'm gonna get me something too, like B. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm blurred out because I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, he said I'm blurred out. <laughs> I'm blurred out because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so now, cool. He, uh, before we get into uh, the, the Knicks games three, four, and five, which uh, thank God they uh, survived this one more day, at least one more game. Yeah, that was big. Yeah, but um, your mom and dad were from North Carolina, right? My father was from North Carolina, a uh, oh. little, little place uh, called Wilson Mills, North Carolina, right next to Smithfield, where Ava Gardner was born. That's a claim, mm. claim to fame. Okay. Uh, and my mother's from uh, from Cambridge, Virginia. Oh, okay. Uh, and, yeah. uh, in the Petersburg area. And right. I guess that's that's the closest. How about yours? My, my mom was from uh, Rocky Mount, uh, no, Scotland Neck, North Carolina. Oh, okay. I did a yeah. Wikipedia on them about a week ago. Uh, population yeah. up to five hundred. <laughs> Big town. They Big town. rolling. They rolling now. They they're up to five hundred people. Five hundred. How many? How many stop spies they got? How many stop lights they got? Did they know you. <laughs> uh, probably uh, two and a half. Two and a half. There you go. All right. We're moving right two point, along. Two point five lights. Okay, two lights and then one stop sign. <laughs> right. Okay, there you go. Right. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, yeah. of course, down the street um, was Rocky Mount, where uh, Thelonious Monk mm -hmm. hailed from. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah we yeah. touched on that. Yes. We might have some news about that absolutely. later. Absolutely. Yeah, man. But yeah, again, so. um, you know, our 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 folks are from the south, but we're you know we're, we call ourselves the polished. Northerners, the Yankees, as they will, right? <laughs> so, but I have yeah. to, I have to pull out a, uh, a a little thing that we do because you and I always, sometimes we are country, because that's you know, <laughs> it's in our blood. Okay, yeah, it's in our blood. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're products of the Great Migration. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I want, I want to do a little segment here. You know, when when I have something that appears to be funny, I, I'll, I'll present it to the uh, to the audience. But we have a segment we can call now what he did. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you know, I, I, you know, you got a story which we will we will touch on that. 
which is okay. hilarious. You've told me this a few times, but I'm going to play an audio clip from somebody okay. who was describing Michael Jordan dunking, oh. doing that amazing dunk at the garden at one time when he just like, he just did a little turnaround and went underneath the basket and Oh, oh yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, okay, uh, fair enough. Yeah, one of the you know, had an interview uh, in 2010 about that experience. Okay, and it lasts all about three seconds. And, and, and I okay. may end up putting it on loop, but you'll you'll hear the voice and you'll you understand. But you know, and I'm not. We're not degrading anybody's ability to speak. We all have our lapses, and sometimes we say hey. something. We just go left. Yeah. But no you know. question. But this one, I got all kind of full pods. Yeah, me too. But this one, <laughs> I, we're gonna have to get this one now. So here we go. I got it. Okay. This is on Twitter. This okay. is in 2010, New York Knicks. Right. And here we go. This, I'm thinking, like, man, did this dude just did this? <laughs> <laughs> did this dude just what? Did this dude, dude just, just did just... this? Dude just in this. case you missed it, let's just play it one more time. Here we go. I'm thinking like, man, did this dude just did this? I'm thinking like, man, did this dude just did this? I'm thinking like, man, did this dude just did this? <laughs> Wait a minute. I know who it is. But I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not saying it. That's got to be up I'm there with uh, the ship be sinking. Remember that? Oh, ship be sinking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah all you know, on the, hey all on the headline yeah all on the, you know hey, hey we got all those kind of things and I, I think they have this thing now i think chris carter came up with it uh come on man you know <laughs> right, now exactly. that's just like a thing uh, on, on uh, monday night football or whatever <laughs> right come on man come on that, man. We, that's what hey, yeah you know we you know it, it, we we add a little color to things so uh, you know from here every now and then but yeah, I tell you, you, know. you you inspired you inspired that little segment right there i'm gonna tell you why oh no How? yeah man you told me a story huh. about some cat you on the road with, with Lang Star. Some cat called you a a, a darn fur. Are you damn fur? <laughs> it's like, yeah, man. Oh yeah, there was always something like that, man. Oh man, man. I, 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 there are so many. <laughs> so many. And by the way, stories. fur is supposed to be fool. Fool, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, drinking fur. that earl, drinking oil, drinking <laughs> wine, all that people talking about what? But anyway, yeah, man, you know, things you run into when you in the neighborhood. There you go. <laughs> so, now what he now what yeah, he do? What he do? <laughs> okay. So so anyway, what did he do? So last last night what he do was <laughs> uh, James Randall. I just have to man, Bob. I need help with James Randall. I I, I need. It's like Julius, a, it's a dilemma. Julius, Julius man, Jules. <laughs> I can't figure it out, man. It's like sometimes I think it, it's not the physical because he's gifted mm -hmm. as an athlete. Everybody, hey, and, and hats off to him. He became an all NBA player. I think this is his first time. 13 mm -hmm. all NBA. You right. can't argue with that. And, and hats off to him and his family and, and anyone who's involved with him. Man, I love it. Um, mentally, he wants to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. He does. He wants to win as much as anybody. He hung out with Kobe, you know, the whole bit. And, and Lord knows all the other people that he's around. You don't get this far not wanting to be great. That's right. But the thing that worries me, and, and I have to admit, it drives me crazy, is him. I think it's emotionally. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know what I'm going to get. Right. I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> and, and, you know, and I hate to compare. Jalen Brunson, you can bet the farm on Jalen mm. Brunson. Amen to that. You can't, right? He yeah. might have a bad game, but you know that he's locked in. That's it. You know, and and I see like a Quentin Grimes, those guys. He's a young guy, but same kind of thing. That's why they played all forty eight minutes. Last Man, they said I'm playing these two guys all forty eight minutes because yeah. I know what I'm gonna get, and that's what exactly. I'm getting with Jules. It's like, yo, man, you having a great game? Why are you sulking? Yes. Yes. Why, man? Why you have he hit that? There was a big three he hit right at halftime. Great yep. three, right? Nice. He had two. He had two great plays at the end of at the end of the game and at the yep. end of the half. Yeah. But yep. where he went after the shot was like he was he the the halftime shot was he hits it he starts sulking or something or go and 
and and, and uh, that he almost scores in the last few seconds of the half mm-hmm. because he had had a lapse. And that's right. just an example, right? You know, and we and there was one at one example after another, and I don't want to pile on, but. I, B, I don't know what to do with this guy. I, and 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 it, and it brings me to another story that, and it's it, forgive me, but it's going to take a second. The first time I ever heard the term uh, Twin Towers was not the buildings. And God rest all of the people who we lost in that time. It was not those two buildings. It was two Knickerbockers. Hmm. The Ooh. first time I heard this term, Ooh. it was Walt Bellamy Ooh. and Willis Reed. Nice. They called them the Twin Towers. That was 68, 69? That was 68. Right. It was be- before that. Uh, 66, 67. Right. It in there. So yeah. I don't have exactly. But it's be- right as Walt Frazier came. I think Frazier came in at 67. So it had to be 66, you know, 65, 66, right in there, right? So they traded so for uh, the Busher, right? And that here is my point. Walt Bell, not Walt, Walt Bellamy is a Hall of Fame, rest his soul. He's the Hall of Fame player. But the Knicks had to get rid of him mm-hmm. to put everything in place to ultimately go on that championship run. Yeah. So my question is to any pundits, or you, anybody, is do we have to move this all-star player, this all-NBA player, massively talented guy, in order for our team to flourish or go to the next level? That's what I'm getting at because I don't know. And I don't think anybody knows what you're going to get from Julius Randle night in, night out, even though he gives you 20 points and sure. 10 rebounds. It's, right. it, so that's my dilemma. That's my dilemma. I mean to go on so long about it, but that seems to be the thing because you know what happened last night. We were down 10 in the first quarter, yep. and then he sits down, Obi comes in, and the team starts flowing. Yeah, man. Obi's out, you know, he had Al Oops and yep. you know, he got this going, you know, Obi's rebounding and energy. Everybody, everything about energy, the crowd is going crazy, and then we got right back into the game. Yeah, man. And I have to tell you, as soon as they put Jules in, I my head just sank. I mm. said, Oh no. You know, <laughs> so that's that's my dilemma, man. You can, just, you can thank count you for on the therapy. You can count on and therapy is good. We we need all we all need Julius Frank. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Julius, yeah, no. Julius is good for seven seven bounces, killing the <laughs> clock killer. So you're the numbers man. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I didn't know what it was. I can't even count it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Toros. But I'm going to I'm going to actually defend Julius. But I, I understand your point. Okay. And all of New yeah. York, mm-hmm. all of New York is with you. Help and me. Include, include Help me. Sometimes. But no, here, I need help. Yeah, <laughs> we all do. Here's where I'll take Julius Randle's side. And remember, we talked about all the back stories and all the, the back pages of the New York Knicks. Sure. Where you got, you traded Ewing after he made millions of dollars for the franchise, shipped him to Seattle. Right. Then you got right. the the mellow. Uh oh, my, my uh, camera's gone. Uh-oh. Come on back. Come on back, camera. Uh oh. Ooh. Nice. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yes. that, that's why we pre-recorded this thing, brother. <laughs> Edit. Okay, hang on one sec. Oh, it's back. Okay. Okay. You're back. So, You're back. so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Julius side because you had the Ewan curse. Right. You got rid of him for you know nothing. You got how okay. they treated Mello. Yeah, okay. We got the we got the um Charles Oakley scenario. Mm-hmm. We have Phil Jackson coming in and you know. They gave him a ton of money. They got nothing out of it except maybe Porzingis and a couple of the cats. Right. And all the players wanted to bypass New York. They went to Brooklyn. They went here. They went there. LeBron didn't come. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kobe didn't come. Nobody came to New York except Julius. So the best right. we got, the best we got was Julius. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got that. Which was which was. I give him a little. I give him a little credit for having a, having the guts to come to New York and try. To Absolutely. Play. Um, wholeheartedly yes on the other yes. side he gets all the because props. exactly so because that was the best we can get mm-hmm. that's all we got so right. it's like everything's on his shoulders now to kind of carry us through through this uh this this next phase but I, yeah i think i think right. julius has to be a maybe the second go-to guy or even the third but right. not the first because yeah. of what you said his emotional imbalance sometimes mm-hmm. um yes. 
So I, I'm I'm with you on it, but I I do want okay. to take the side that no one else wanted to come to New York and and take right. that. that okay. God bless him, man. I am so glad he came here because, like I, I've said in other episodes, I was a big Julius Randle fan. Yeah, coming out of college, especially. Mm -hmm. You know, and then when he came to the Lakers, okay, that didn't work out. I was like, okay, he's young. And I think he cracked his, man, he, I think he cracked his kneecap the first game oh. of yes, his career. Yes, exactly, exactly, with the Lakers. Right? Yeah, I mean, oh, I was like, oh, man. So he had, a, it took a year for him to get on the floor. Sure did. And, uh, mm -hmm. and then when he went to, to you know, uh, it had to be tough for him to go to New Orleans. And then, so when he came to the Knicks, I'm right with you. It's like, hey, man, you get a fresh start. He right. came in here, man. He took us to the playoffs, the whole bit. But then as soon as the crowd start coming, yeah, he, he freaked out. And it got, oh, and it's like, okay, so now my question is, or my dilemma is, is can he handle New York? Right. I know he wants to, mm -hmm. but can is he the right fit for New York? Is New York the right fit for him and his family? Mm -hmm. And that, and I think we're at that point. And the only reason I say that is because it's Jalen Brunson's team now. Oh, yeah, no question. No question. Right? It's yeah, Jalen's. And, and, we, and we have some, some pieces that could develop into his supporting cast. Sure. And then it would be a matter, I can only imagine what the front office is going to go through this summer. They mm -hmm. got to keep quick. That's going to be a thing. He's got to yeah. be thinking he can run a team somewhere. Yeah. But really, it's what to do about James Randall. And I heard Stephen A. talk about today, Carl Anthony Towns. Mm, yeah. And Carl Anthony Towns has a relationship with uh, Leon Rose. They, I think that was his agent or something like that. Mm. But I think he had to give up being an agent once he became a general manager. Is this so contract up? It, uh, it's, uh, I'm not sure. Mm. But I'm just saying, are, are we at that point where we're going to have to move a, a beloved guy? Man, he's he's a part of New, of New York Nick history now, no matter what. Yeah. I mean, and 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 I'm and I'm happy for him, but I don't know if he's the right fit going forward, man. I, I agree. I, I agree. ain't being mad at him, man, because I know mm. he's bringing it. Yeah. But yeah. it's just yeah. mm, just emotionally something is amiss. Exactly. So body language, it's a mess, but something is just off. And I just wonder if they're going to have to do that. So not to, I've already belabored the point. So, so uh, let me let me go through so a couple of NBA free agents that uh, that might oh, that might, okay. uh, might might tease you a little bit. Okay. We have sure. James Harden. Um James Harden? James Harden. We have Kyrie, I think Kyrie. he wants to go back. He wants to go back to the Rockets. Yeah, that's kind of weird, don't you think? Yeah, right. Wow! Watch it. They win the championship in Philly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We we have Mr. Uh, Mr. Irving. Ah, uh, I'm I'm gonna pass. Fred Van Bleet. I you no, know we if, got Jalen uh, Brunson. We got yeah, we got we got Jalen. I don't think uh, I don't think we need Fred at this point. Okay, no. I'm gonna switch up to this uh, other screen here, man. Sure. Uh, we got Freakazitis here. Yeah. Oh no, no shit. <laughs> It <laughs> looks like you're a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous about this conversation. <laughs> okay, here we go. How's that? Yeah, much better. All right, all right, cool. So, um, Chris Middleton. You know he's got, now, he's okay. got a nice three point game. I like his game. He, nice three point game, but can can he play the four? We we're gonna need a four if we're talking about moving Randall. We need a four. Yeah, good point. Good point. Good point. Mm -hmm. uh, Vucevic. From uh, Chicago, Nicola. Uh, I think he's a five. Yeah, I think you're right. You're right. I think he's a five. We got Draymond, but I think he may go back to. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> Draymond in New York would be interesting. Oh my God! I know my sister, my sister Jenny would be a happy as she could be. She loves Draymond Green. <laughs> at, at, at least he's <laughs> at least he's consistently crazy. At least you know what you're getting with. with oh, you know what you're getting. Draymond's a nut. Uh, Oh yeah, he's out there. Yeah. <laughs> he's out there. Brooke Lopez. I think he's just a little too old. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. Oh, the D'Angelo Russell's back in that as well. Yeah, he ain't going away. He he found a home in LA, but he's back in LA now. He's redeeming himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan Clarkson. Too small. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And other than that, yeah, not much. Else. Oh, then we got we got Mr. Dylan Brooks. What do you think about him? Man, that's right, man. You texted me about that the other day. <laughs> ah, yeah, no, we never talked about that. Oh, he made boy, he made a mess this year. But sure you know, did. there was a time when he was scoring, he was scoring a lot of points. Yes, he was. And we all know he, he's he's crazy. He's dumb. 
<laughs> and, and so, so are we trading one crazy for another crazy? No, I'm like, cray cray, cray cray. No, but uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> cray cray, cray cray. Oh God. Cray cray. That's that's interesting. He might be too small. Is he a big time rebounder? Do you have numbers in front of you? Uh, no, I don't. Um, let me see. Dylan. Uh, nope. We thirty nine point six field goal, which is not that good. Thirty two from the fit from the three point. Oh yeah, uh, three point three yeah. rebounds. He's not a big rebound. Yeah, see, we need a we need a rebound to go along with Hardenstein and uh and Mitchie. Yeah, you're you right. You're right. You're right. I, I, yeah, so I I agree that there's not anything out there which which really lends itself to your point. It's like, hey man, he he's the best that we got, and hey, it, by the numbers, we'd be we're crazy for even thinking about getting rid of him. Mm -hmm. I get that, but and so me to me, it's just an emotional thing. Is he is he is he impeding the progress of a RJ Barrett? Is he impeding <laughs> the progress of Jalen Brunson not moving the ball more? I wish Brunson would move the ball more, yep. but he he acts like he doesn't trust. Right. You got right. he, right. and then you got somebody who's not quite, you don't know where he's going to be. Is he right. going to dribble into a blender? Right. You know what I mean? This is where, this is the dilemma I have. This is why my, my fingernails are all messed up. <laughs> You've been you've been biting the last three days, man. Yeah, oh, man, I'm messing up. Man. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, you know what I mean? Mind you, we get man. I don't know what you what you got on your tour schedule, but we're getting ready to start a big tour, uh, with with Daryl Hall and Todd Rundgren. Ooh. Uh, we start. What is that? We might have mentioned the last one. I just want to get that back in. We're gonna start on the 24th of June in uh, in Montclair, New Jersey, and we're going to be out for two weeks. So I just wanted to get that in for the, what's for the in folks the, out there that might be what interested. What venue is in Montclair? The Wal Walmart? Walmart? Really? Okay, the Walmart. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we're doing doing theaters, like uh, smaller theaters with this oh, tour. Oh, nice. Yeah, like, you know, two and three, four thousand seaters kind of thing. Right. That's not the regular Hall & Oates, you know, mega places. Right. So. Yes, but this, that's what's really cool. It's a nice, intimate uh, uh, show with two, right. you know, giants. You know, I got I to so, check you guys uh, out this summer. Yeah, man. And we're coming to, coming to Porchester, man. Coming to Porchester. Oh, at the Capitol? Capitol Theater? The Capitol. Yeah, yeah, right. man. So, yeah, this whole thing, man, I could, yeah, this whole tour, I could, I could drive to it. <laughs> you <know? laughs> there you go. There <laughs> yeah, you go. so that's going to be fun. Montclair yeah, and, nice. and Porchester. In Porchester, yeah. We're doing Foxwoods. We're going to do uh, Borgata in Atlantic City. You know, we're doing Hershey, Pennsylvania, too. Gonna, so, uh, you know, all, all, yeah, man, you got, let me know, man. We, we'll I do that, you know. So, yeah, you got any dates coming? Yeah, I got uh, Nashville with uh, uh, Fisk University. Ah. They, they do a fundraiser every year. Um, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. My radio, the radio show I do, New Urban Jazz, they air it in Nashville. So that's on the 24th of June, 28th, I'll be mm -hmm. at the uh, Reese Franklin Amphitheater, Woo! theater, uh, opening up for uh, Spire Gyro. So that's, that's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> nice man. Me and the Spiral. Nice. Piece. And then uh, July, yeah. uh, Hartford uh, Hartford Jazz Festival, which is uh, a free event. But man, their numbers have been like off the chain. Um, wow, man. Twenty, thirty thousand people free all weekend. Woo! Yeah, they they have a man. A nice, uh, nice, nice built-in audience. I'm looking forward to uh, uh, next. Oh time. man, great man! You are killing it out there, man. On your own, doing your thing, man. A great band, and uh, I, you know, it's, you know, what's really frustrating. We can never see each other because we're always doing this. You know, where <laughs> you going? Exactly. You're, you're always right? <laughs> all your friends. You want to go see their shows, and it's like, oh man, we're going the other way. <laughs> I, mean, I might have to hire you just, just, uh, just so that you can see the show. <laughs> Yeah, right. We can't do that. Right. In them kungas and bongos, baby. <laughs> bongo, bongo, yeah. Bongo. <laughs> yeah, man. So do you play, do yeah, you play man, with another percussionist on that date or just, just yourself? No, it's just me. It's just me. It's uh yeah. I, I love just, to see I you just and cafe to... together, man. Huh? I love to see you and cafe together. Oh, cafe, man. Yeah, that ooh, man. That you, you that's that's too far out there for me, man. That that's big time, man. That's real Brazil. That's the Brazilian thing, you know. Uh, I tell you the story oh, when man. I met him. I was I was in a studio in New Jersey, and he had this old, old, old looking drum. It's probably the first drum ever built in 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 the world. <laughs> in life, in the world. <laughs> but as soon as he touched it, man, it sounded like 
it sound like music, man. I'm like, man, give me your man. number. You just hit me one time. Hey. Oh, dude, I gotta get your number. Really? Oh, wow. Man. That's how you guys did it. Yeah. That's oh, he's he's. Man. And then when I looked at that, like... he was playing with Dejavon. He played oh. with uh, oh. Sergio Mendez. Everybody, man. The Lynn. first time when I yes, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I, play, I think recently he was playing with the Stevie Winwood as well. Stevie Winwood? Oh, okay. And, and, and he, you know, it could be anybody. The first time I ever saw him was it was uh, Sergio Mendez. And uh, I was like, whoa, because I think he took over Paulino for Paulino. Oh, Paulino de Costa? Ooh. Yeah, I think he did. You know, it was right in, right after Paulino. Um, so, you know, I was just, you know, and you know how I feel about Sergio. And you know, that's, that's my thing. So, uh, um, um, but uh oh I lost my train of thought. Um cafe. oh oh with cafe. Um then I when you were, you had him on your gig, I was like, oh man, I just I just I was just glad to meet him. <laughs> you know, he's a legend. He's legend, a, man. Just a beautiful yeah. down down down. Oh, sweetheart. You know he got his roots are uh Nigerian. He got really Nigerian, okay. Nigerian Brazilian, because uh of course there's a big Ooh. slave trade that shifted yeah. from, yeah, there you go. from Africa mm -hmm. to uh Brazil. And the Brazil, largest, yeah. uh, the largest uh, uh, mass of Africans outside of Africa are in Brazil. In in Brazil, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, man. So yeah, uh, yeah you know, and uh, yeah. So when you talk about percussionists, man, he's he's at the top of the list, man. And it's just great to uh, to just be in in, in the network, yeah. you know, and just just learn from him. But you know, my whole notes gig, and we talked about this is. You know, I'm I'm really a background singer, and I just play a little percussion. It's not really a percussion percussion gig. I like to think that I've added some things that they they that they appreciate that they appreciate. Oh, you, know? you can, uh, you uh, can they, they give me, that, man. yeah. Thank you, man. It's uh yeah, they give me pretty much autonomy. I mean, I can I can do what I got I got to do. I think oh, the first time I, it was early on, man. We were, we were out and uh, in Brooklyn at the park out there. We were doing a gig out there. I remember Questlove showed up and. Uh, some other folks there. I think it was my second gig with them. And uh, uh, we, we do the hit and uh, Oates comes up to me and says, man, you're doing a lot of Afro-Cuban stuff back there. I hear that. <laughs> said, you know, you, you know this, this, this is a rock band. <laughs> I said, okay, I get it. Pull, pull I was, back, I was huh? I was overplaying, yeah. Right. <laughs> but but I was honored that he that he heard Afro Cuban, and I was honored that he knew what Afro Cuban was. That's true. So uh, yeah. so I was like, yeah, man, I'm I'm in the right place, man. And so and then uh, and Daryl just said, hey, man, you just do what you do. And I, so you know, I, and you know what, you know what, B, yeah, you know, you know, I'm a I'm a baritone singer and a baritone bass singer actually. Right. But in Hall and Oates, ninety five percent of what I do, maybe ninety nine percent of what I do. That's better. It's all falsetto. It's all falsetto. <laughs> tenor, yeah, you know, first tenor stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what's been great: learning a new a new instrument uh, with percussion, yeah. and then really learning how to be. Uh, I, I I told Daryl, I said, man, I'm a, I'm gonna try to be Eddie Kendricks. That's what I'm gonna try. To do. He said, bet, go for it. Yeah. Nice. So that's what I try to do. You okay. know, on top okay. of all the harmonies, you know. Little uh, Eddie so slash uh, uh, a Curtis Mayfield vibe, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mo mo mostly Eddie. You know, uh, no, I'm trying to be trying. <laughs> Those you. guys, you know, Eddie all, was. You know, Eddie, they, Eddie had some tough shoes, yeah. to boy. Eddie, yeah, you know, Eddie was. To me, he was the greatest. He was the greatest falsetto singer. You know, with all due respect to Smokey, and uh, my man from the moments, uh, Ray Goodman and Brown. I, I yeah. loved what yeah. uh, Harry what Harry the, Ray did. He was. Yeah. He yeah. was great, man. What about um, the uh, what about Russell? Guys, Russell, yeah. Russell Thompson was a great one too, but Eddie to me was just, he's the man. you know, yeah, that's, that's a cat, man. He's, he's, he's the gold star, standard bearer, you know. So anyway, yeah, man. So uh, who, who's who's in the band? Who's some of the guys you're gonna be working with this this summer? Uh, you know, who are you gonna be using while they're in cafe? Are you I'm using cafe this year? Yeah, yeah. When he's available, okay. I'll, I'll pull him in. Um, Tony Lewis, right. of course, who I've known oh, for yeah. 40, 40 years. Killer. Ago. That's that's my dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes I switch between, uh, depending on what's available, I'll use uh, Dave Anderson on bass out of Connecticut. Oh, oh yeah, man. Dave's a Dave's yeah. a great reader and uh, and yeah, man. reliable, and you know he'll 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 give you exactly what you're looking for. 
Yeah, he's, you know, and and nobody's uh, nicer than than Dave Vance. So, you know, he's a great person to be around, man. Yeah. You know. Oh man, hey, he's oh, a brother okay. down in Atlanta. He plays bass. Uh, Trey Trey Gilbert, really nice. Um, uh huh. Overseeing the the MD gig for the Capital Jazz, uh, Capital Capital uh, Capital Jazz, um, the cruise that they do every year. He he okay. he, he oversees like he puts several bands, several oh, artists. Okay. Really, okay. he's got his 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 uh, his mental space is amazing. I, I love working. Wow, there. No, you, you mean as a musical director or as a contractor? Uh, just as a, uh, he's down there, he's like the contractor. He pulls all the okay. all the positions together and uh, uh-huh. just his organization. His organization vibe is is tremendous, man. Good, good cat. Oh, okay, great, and, great, man. and great, man. wonderful man. bass player. Wonderful bass player. Great, man. Great. Yeah. Then Reagan. You know anything, what, do I, I, is, uh, yeah, I was just going to ask you about Reagan. And, yeah, and Reagan's yeah. Uh, hitting with us in um, at Hartford Jazz, and we're also doing. Get together in uh, Hampton Roads, Virginia, in November, uh-huh. as well as um, the one other date we're doing together. Um, Hartford, oh, in New Jersey, in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Okay, cool. Man, Reagan White's, White's out, man. Yeah. Say again? No, I was just saying, Reagan White's, I'm so proud of her, man. You know, what you, how you've helped her come along, and, uh, and, and Dennis. Yep. You know, and now, like I said, she's on the she's chart, topping the charts, Billboard yeah. charts, and and winning awards, and you know, it's just it's fantastic, man, what she's done. Because I remember, man, yes, the night we were all together in Scarsdale, you at remember this club, that, right? August Blue, August mm-hmm. Blue, right? Mm-hmm. And Ossie Davis, Ossie Davis was Ossie there, Davis, Ruby D, right? And all, mm-hmm. all Ruby D, they were all there. Yeah. And Reagan says it was that day because she was in, at Oberlin at the time as a student. And she was there and she said that day changed her life. She decided that she wasn't going to be a classical flautist. She was going to be a jazz flautist right there. And I always say, really, it was that day. Yeah. So yeah, that was, that was, it was big time stuff. So it's, it's amazing to see where she, how far she's come. You see that night it was Damon Banks. I think Tony was there. Um, yes. Cintron was there. Citron. Yep. Yep. Marion, of course, Marion Meadows. Yep. Marion Meadows, the great Marion Meadows. Yep. 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 Um, of course, Ozzy and Ruby. And and now check this out. Dennis was there. He was hanging out with me, but they didn't. Yeah. They had they hadn't even met then. A few years well, later, Reagan hadn't met. No, they hadn't. They hadn't even met yet. So wow. um, I called Reagan to do a session at Dennis's place, and oh yeah, the rest, as they say, is history. Oh yeah, that's right. That all, it's all yeah. coming back to me now. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah, in his studio, and then she was working in his studio. Upper and room. They were all the same age in the upper room. That's right. That's right. And now they have a beautiful. Yeah, they live beautifully in in, in Georgia and in, right. in Atlanta, and have a beautiful studio in their place, and have two wonderful kids. It's that's great, man. It's, it's real. That's when you know me, man. You know, having been around now for so long, and and watching so many of my friends to really start off. And just have conversations with you guys along the way, and to see where it's come, it's really, it's it's really, really rewarding. It really is, man. Uh, so you know, without getting too mushy, you know, uh, I I rather, I, I guess for this show, I, I not rather, but I guess we better get back to uh, Jane Randall, man. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. So okay, game game six. Okay, right. We made it that far. Right. What you think? What do you think? Well, We're going back to Miami now. And 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 Jimmy and Jimmy Jimmy Butler didn't do much the other night. Jimmy only had 19 points. He uh he was kind of like right. and and so the what's gonna that, happen? that I that I know is that game three, four, five, the Knicks scored 85 in game three, 101 in game four, 112 in right. game five. So the scoring has has started starting to peak. They hit okay six more three threes from uh five versus game four which is okay. 18 points right there so you know they were yeah yeah breaking it in uh in Miami. <laughs> right they had too right. many tequilas or something, <laughs> something, something yeah something was off yeah that's right really- yeah, and you know <laughs> yeah and you know really funny man <laughs> you know that the heat came back to earth yes. last night yes yes because they've been they've been uh, they've been shooting above yeah their numbers right 30, 30 so last percent. night yeah, thirty percent above their numbers, right? Because they were the twenty seventh in the league or something like yeah, that yeah. in in three point shooting. 
and, I, and but but this whole series they've been killing it. But last night they came back down to earth. Our defense got a little better, and I yeah. we talked about that. The rotate and the Nick rotations are closer to what they were earlier on. Right. So maybe and, and our we the we are the youngest. I don't know if I mentioned this already. We're the youngest team in the playoffs. Yes, Did I mentioned in terms that? of experience, right? Right. Experience. So mm -hmm. we're gaining it as we go along, and yep. maybe the Heat are just kind of coming back to earth a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. But the X factor is Jimmy and that's Bolstra. Those two guys, that, that, those are the guys that scare me. And Kyle Lowry, they scare me in game six. And at the Knicks, and now the Knicks better not go down there too early and get out in those streets. <laughs> they, should before the game. they should send them down that day. A day. Come down there that even, day. Go right even, to the arena. You're right. Don't even deviate. Just go straight don't, to the arena. Right. Go straight. I know right. the, the NBA won't allow that, no. but but that's what needs to happen, man. They just had ought to have a tunnel right from their private jet right to the to the to the hotel exactly. and go right to the arena, and that's they can't right. even get off just to get that's something right. to eat. Right, you know, feed them along right. the way uh, in, in the hallways. That's it. You know, you know that's another, my fear. Uh, another uh, another game changing factor was in this last game they had fifty rebounds yeah. and uh, Miami only had thirty four. So. I think that quote. I think that quote might have might have started something, man. When Julia said, "Yeah, you." Well, you, I think I think they wanted. It, I guess they wanted it more. Don't like Julia. Oh, you, don't, you don't want to say that. You don't you say don't. that. That's what I mean, man. It's like to, I always find myself saying, "No, Jules, not that. Don't act that way. Don't <laughs> say that. Don't do that." You know. Right. I, you know, it's almost like fix your shirt. Don't do. You know, I feel like I just want to. Put the guy together. I know. Say, no, I know. you are a leader. You can't be up and down. Leaders, you know, when I think about a leader, you know, I think about Joe Montana. You ever hear that legendary story, man, when he's in the, in the Super Bowl oh. and they're in the huddle and the game is on the line? I think they're playing against uh, the Cincinnati or the, or the Boomer Science and all them. And then, you know, it's game is game is on the on the line, man. And they said Joe Montana comes into the into the huddle and says, hey, "Is that John Candy over there?" Just as calm. John Candy, the, the comedian, and he was in the in the crowd, wow. and he's pointing out to the guy, man, that's John Candy, just what, just calm, uh -huh. just uh -huh. be calm, and that's the way you get from A to B, yeah, and uh, and that's what I see in Jalen Brunson is that oh, kind of leader, he's, he's cool, man, you know, totally. whereas it was Jules it has something else. However, maybe, maybe, and you can only hope is, it, so maybe it's the yin and yang thing. Mm. We have one leader that's that's calm. Maybe the other one is just hey, he's all over the place. It won't be the you know, there was Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, it's always something like maybe we have that brewing, but as it's developing, yeah, sometimes I just want to just I just want to go crazy, man. <laughs> like, why are you doing that, man? You better that's what it is. You're better than that. Right. You know, that that cliche. You're better does, than does that. He, does Jules. he make you say does he make you say now what he do? What he do? What he do? <laughs> I don't know what he do. He ain't supposed to have done that. <laughs> he done did that. He ain't supposed he to done that the wrong way now. Yeah, what he did, did that. So that's what I'm looking at for game six. They are in a real pressure cooker. I I hope that the New York, uh, that New York travels, which it will, because half of half of Miami is New York. Um, so have yeah, that. And here we have, um, you know, uh, Jalen Brunson is a champion, right? Yes. He won two college chips. Yep. He did great. He's done great in the playoffs for the last yep. two years. He's our most experienced guy in the playoffs, yep. really. Uh -huh. And he conducts himself that way. Oh, man, here's what I wanted to talk about. What, Josh Hart just fell apart yesterday. Josh Hart. Yeah, yeah, Hart, he, didn't, uh, you know, he, didn't, he didn't connect. He was due. He yep. was due for yep. that game. He'll be back. He'll mm -hmm. be back. I felt bad for him. I was like, yeah. "Oh man, he just can't. He can't even walk." And you know, as a foul, you know. What I, mean? I know, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, he couldn't do yeah, anything. He had that. Uh, yeah. He had that. Um, that flagrant with. Uh... But yeah. You know what? The Heat. The Heat have been doing that to the Knicks all series long. They've been yes. doing those flagrants, sticking it. Mm -hmm. You know, go for a jump shot, kicking out, falling out on on their on their feet. Man. So out. They had it coming. Yeah. They had it yeah. Coming. Yeah. Because all so, of a sudden, everybody got so, sprained ankles, man. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. The whole Nick Spar got Frank out spray right, apples. Right, right. Crazy, right. man. So, you know, we'll see. To, uh, man, if the Knicks can, man, if we can get it back to game seven in New York, sure. 
Oh, mm. that's, that, that's going to be, be magical. I'm, you know, all right, here, here, Mr. Pessimist. I have to, I have to give Miami the nod only because of experience and they're at home. Right. But and I'm scared of the pressure's on them though. The pressure's on them. Without a doubt. Without, they, they don't want to come back to New York. Money at this point. Woo! House money? You think it's house money? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think once they got past, um, once they got past the oh. official. Oh, was, okay. I, yeah, everything okay. else passed that advantage. But now, if they could, if they could put the heat on the on the heat, no fun intended. On the heat. In you know this uh, Friday, could be yeah. could be interesting game seven if if it gets to that. But uh, oh man, they had to continue man. to play the way they played this last game. Yeah, without a doubt. Now, and I hope that they have they're finding their footing because mm -hmm. I I felt like you know it was like getting punched in the face the first games the first right. few games right you know like oh no this is uncharted territory for them and that's where i feel from this is brand new for them oh yeah and it's like oh man so this is what's going on you know and yeah. it's like okay it's starting to pull, i think they're starting to pull it together mm -hmm. um and and i and i totally i i'm totally dependent i, I can depend on on uh on brunson he's he's, he's fantastic yeah. man he's he's just off the charts man and uh, and every I think he can lead him through. And oh, if Mitch and Hartenstein can do the kind of rebounding job that they did last yeah. last night, yeah, that was that's that's key, obviously, right? Because because uh, what's his name, Bam Adebayo? He's he's a beast, man. Woo! Yeah, man, yeah, man. That's an athlete too, man. He's incredible. He's an athlete. Yeah. yeah. So he has some. He has well, some man. nasty dunks. Good lord. Woo! Yeah, man. Crazy, you know. So I, I think, hey, man, we like it. We would have signed up for this at the beginning of the year, right? If no. they said we'd be in this position, we would have said, hey. yeah, okay, we'll do it. <laughs> so no matter what happens, I, I can't trash the Knicks this year, man. Every, you know, all the things that we talked about, the good, the bad, and the ugly, have been highly entertaining. Right. And, uh, you know, and I'm anxious to see what the front office does, you know, in the off season, so. You know, so we'll got, see. You got to give the front office a lot of credit because they had to do some serious cleanup in our four for real. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I was looking. I was looking at Forbes uh, earlier today, and the Knicks, believe okay. it or not, were valued at three hundred eighty million dollars in the year two thousand. That's all. Now they're valued at oh, in two thousand, you said. Yeah, right. two thousand. Okay. Now they're valued mm -hmm. like six point five billion. Billion, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're I, not I even, see that. They're not even the um. They're not even the first, uh, the most valued team. Golden State Warriors. Lakers. Well, Warriors are now. Yeah, they're like what? seven. One. They're over seven bill. Well, well you Silicon Lakers Valley. Just under just under six bill. Silicon Valley and and Steph Curry and, oh, and all those championships. And all those yeah. 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 But so as, okay. As bad as the Knicks have been, though, they keep they keep going up in value. Yeah. I mean that yeah. Yeah, that's part of the problem. It's crazy. Right. <laughs> we don't have right. to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that was, yeah. Going back to that, remember when Steve Ballmer bought the the, uh, the Clippers? He bought it for two billion. Everybody was like, "What? Wow!" And now that's a bargain. It's a bargain. That's right. When, that's right. You know, next to the numbers you're talking about, right? right? That's right. It's nothing. It's nothing. He, he's in L.A. He's got a new arena coming. So yeah, man. But uh, you know, I I I, I think man. I, Let's call. I'm, I'm gonna call it 50-50 tomorrow. Hey man, yeah, I think we'll they play the same same level of intensity they played yesterday. I think they got a real good shot of bringing it back to the garden and just it'll be it'll be a great way to end the season either way. Either way, either way, you know. So and then for us going forward, man, uh, I guess I'd love to hear from from our audience as to whether we should continue or not. There you go. There you go. You know what I mean? Because we, you and I, have talked about guests. Right, uh, joining us, you know, from different different fields, uh, sure. you know, different uh, different kind of artists that could that could really add to it. I think what we, I hope, what we've done to the audience is that we've established who you and I are. That's what we wanted to do, and just float the idea, see if there was something there. Maybe we can get some likes here. Maybe we can get some subscribers, and and try to grow this thing organically and see if uh, if people will, will like it. I, I think some of the guests, I won't mention who we, we were talking about bringing on, but we, we scored three big ones yesterday, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, I think if, if we get those in, I think it could be really interesting going forward. But uh, I'd, I'd love to get more feedback from our from our viewers. So that's well, what I just want to drop I, that I, in. I'll do, I'll, I'll do one tease. Uh, okay. One of the 
as we worked with before, and uh, he's a big New Jersey net. Well, used to be New Jersey, but a Brooklyn Nets fan. But he's from Brooklyn. Okay. And okay. One of our one of our dudes, Will Downing, who spoke to him. He's like, Oh, hey, let's do it. He wants to do it. Oh yeah, man. And Will is a net fan. That's not, uh, yeah, unfortunately. We'll oh still, lord, still yeah. We, oh man, we got we got to get Will down in there. Okay, that man, <laughs> we got to work on that. All right, that that's great because that yes, that is our guy. That's you right. know, he's one of the greatest singers who've ever lived. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> well, he's one of those, you know they're, they're those singers, man. That as soon as they open up their mouths, it's like ooh, one note. They get yeah. one note. That's right. He's one of those guys. Other people, you got to hit it. Oh, wow, look at the way they did that. That's great. That's great. That's great. Great. Will. One note. That's it. Man. When I heard him, I said, "Good Lord, man!" So, and and he's a he's an avid sports fan. So, yeah, I I can't wait to have him on, man. And uh, and there's some other ones. I I don't want to say anything right. yet. Sure, sure. But uh, but yeah, we got some ideas. And uh, again, I'd love to get some feedback. Some more feedback. It'd be fun. Very cool. Yeah. And and thank you to those who've been watching. That's right. That's yeah, right. Man. What I'm is gonna... your what is your website address, man? Let's see. Oh, Porter, my Carol, website. Is Porter, Carol, Porter Carol Jr. Yes, PorterCarolJr.com. C O R T E R C A R R O L L Jr. J R dot com. Um, and then oh, you know what? I have my own, I have my own show. I, you know, I have this thing called the Evolution of Cabaret, and you know, when I'm not doing you know the Hall of Notes thing, I do it you know a few times a year. So um, I'm getting ready to do one at Darrell Falls Club. Oh, nice! On August August sixth, you got to come and check out check what one out. What town is that in? Uh, That's in Pauling, New York. Oh, okay. It's in Pauling, New York, right? It's Darryl's house? Up, yeah, Darrell's House Club. Yeah, okay. it's, it's 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 a man, and the food is killing because Darrell yeah. is a serious foodie. He's a foodie, okay. and he, he checks all. You know, he's got he got great he's got great chefs. The whole thing and great vibe. Uh, great say stage the, the whole thing it's 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 first class mm. you know um and uh so i, I go i do it a couple of times a year so i'm going to do it on august 6th so i hope to see some folks come out so. speaking of which um tell me about the uh, tv show you guys have done over the years oh yeah you know it's funny I, I was, man, I somebody was asking... popping in on that man i was like look at my man ah uh, yeah that's right we haven't mentioned that at all yeah, you I know um it's on profile, yeah, trying to be Walt. Um, yeah, one of the one of the great things about being in Hall Notes is that it's three gigs in one, mm. and uh, obviously, you know, the big guys, uh, their their show, um, and then the Dara Hall show I get to do, and then the way I got in, which was really my audition, was live from Daryl's house television show, like a cable show. And that that turned into now now you see it on like I think Access TV is ah. where you see it. Yeah, most of the time uh they're doing reruns essentially we just got finished recording six new episodes that i'm not sure if they'll be on access or another i know they're, they're talking to a few places uh i'm not sure where they are but i probably in the fall they'll be yeah. coming and great gary castell so yeah i you know i somebody was asking me i said i could finally say i'm a regular on a television show Ah, <laughs> a regular, yeah, you know, I'm not regular. not a star, but I, but yeah. I'm a regular, you know. Uh -huh. And and it's it's a great great vibe. We do it right in Daryl's club. Uh, now he used to do it in his house, mm -hmm. uh, but now the club is modeled after the house, nice. so it has the same vibe. Yeah. So and you know the and it's it really it's a it's also a cooking show too, man. We have a cooking seg segment, you know. Yeah, and, I, uh, I haven't seen you whip up anything on the uh, skill there, man. Wait. No, no, no. I'm, they're not. They, they're trying to keep it going. So they're, not gonna, <laughs> they're not gonna have me cooking up anything. <laughs> but they do have. They have. <laughs> they they do have uh, world class chefs that come in and prepare mm -hmm. meals. Nice. And uh, you know, so we sit around and do you, essentially what you and I are doing right now. Sit around and talk over great meals. Hey, so bro. it's a great show. It's a great show. You know, this so, is a great show. Yeah, man. Hey, we're working on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna, it's gonna get better, right? right? It's hey, gonna get bro. better. Yeah. Man, as always, yeah. good kicking in with your brother. Likewise, B. I guess we'll uh, yeah. we'll fire it up uh, after game uh, game six as we pray. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. Go Knicks. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's do this. Yes, let's do it, man. Come on, let's man. Eat. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Punch him in the mouth one more time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Watch. Watch let's your do angle, what it do. please.
Oh God, yeah, man. <laughs> you know. So, but yeah. Okay. All right, brother. All right, we'll see you soon. And we'll meet again, man. Peace. Peace and love, Grace. <laughs> Peace.